Hey guys, what's up? Bargain and Hobo here, and today marks my second full year of doing this. That's right, this is my second anniversary on YouTube. Guys, as you guys probably know by now, I have reached the 100 subscriber mark. That means over 100 people want to take this journey with me. I don't know where it leads, but I'm glad you want to come along with me. Guys, thank you so much. And now, to get to the voting results. So for last year's special, I did one that was really near and dear to me, and I had a guessing game that uh, could have been done a little better, but maybe we can try that again some other time. Now, I had made you guys vote for one of three options. Each of these games could easily go for the title worst game ever. They were Fifth Element, Man in Black 2, Alien Escape, and Pimp My Ride. So, between these two, we already know one didn't win, but between these two, which one won? Drum roll, please. Pimp My Ride. Oh, that's gonna be hard to get. So, for those of you who want me to cover these two, don't worry about it, I will cover them some time. But, the one that won was Pimp My Ride. Now the reason I picked these three games is because I've been hitting guys with softballs. Looking over my videos, none of the videos I did, anyone's ever been calling them the worst game ever, but it's time to put up or shut up. So, let's do this. You guys know I have a thing for bad games, but is Pimp My Ride too bad even for me? Let's find out. It's time to so, hold up! The story for Pimp My Ride is non-existent. Just watch this. You see this? Here, this my city. It's called Pimp City. And Pimp City's pretty tight. Lots of different people driving around, lots of people with Some pimp, and some not so pimp. And that's why you're here, so check this out. I want you to set up shop here in Pimp City for a while and see if you could turn this automotively challenged city around and whip the people of Pimp City's rides into shape. And yeah, you're gonna have competition, trust me. There's always someone who thinks they can do it better than you. So watch it back, because every time you get your hands on a customer's ride, the local rival shop here is also gonna get their hands on the same ride to see if they can steal your thunder and your business. Remember, your mission is to make your customers happy. If you can do that, you have a long career here in Pimp City. So come on. It's Mr. X to the Z exhibit, and yo, we about to go pimp some rides. Okay, so the story is pretty much non-existent. It's just basically playing through the show. Now, I never watched the show, but I will say that the opening cutscene does a good enough job explaining the premise that even those who haven't watched the show still know what's going on. Now, I'm not sure if these people we're pimping with are real-life people from the show or just characters they made for the game. I'm not sure. But let's go look at the gameplay. The gameplay starts when you pick a customer. At that point, you can't do anything until you earn a certain amount of money. How do you do that? Well, there's a few ways, but the primary way? Smash into everything you can. I'm not even exaggerating here. You get money by smashing objects and cars into other smoking husks. You can't even run people over. And get this, your car is totally invincible. So go ahead, get in head-on collisions, smash things, crash into guardrails. You won't even scratch the paint. With each level, the budget you need to earn gets higher and higher. But there are other ways you can earn some more money, but... Shut in though, because these are pretty stupid. See parking meters? Smash them. See signs? Smash them. See floating objects? Grab them. And then, there's the ghost riding the weapon. Good lord. Like pressing buttons? Good. You'll be doing a bunch of that. And this game must be hungry because it is eating a lot of these button inputs. I swear, I press the button and the game doesn't even acknowledge it. You see this? You see this dancing and the tripping up? Well, that's all you're gonna get. And then the audio in this part? I'm skipping a bit, but uh, just listen. You have no clue how worse things are gonna get from here. But back to it. Now that we've sufficiently destroyed enough of Pimp City, got enough cash, it's on to the first customer, Andrea. The encounter is... Oh my goodness, just watch.
Man, this job is getting too dangerous. Andrea, I'm here to pimp your ride. I know! <laughs> oh, that is just so, so painful. I spared you for more of this, because it's basically just going over what's wrong with the car and what she wants in the car. So then, it's time to get to work. So now, here we are in Andrea's car, and we're on the clock, we have to drive up to a bunch of shops to get stuff into it, and oh boy. Remember the push button things I mentioned earlier? Competition, all you have to do is always get the most expensive thing, and maybe the one thing the person actually wanted in their car. The payoff they're in is not worth it to say the least. Andrea, your bruiser was black and blue when we picked it up. But no longer. Take a look at your new ride. Ah! Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> Come on, let's take a closer look. So Andrea, this is a new experience for you, right? having a full set of rims on your car. Wow, thank you. All right, check this, Andrea. We hit you up with our own custom paint job. Wow, I love it. Meanwhile, the thing about the Bruiser is it's got some serious power under the hood, but the rest of the design kind of slows it down, you know? That's why we hit you up with this. It's an Aerodynamics V18 body kit. Oh my God, that's just so freaking awesome, okay. So how about the other player? So you do live broadcast for the station, right? I guess that can be tough lugging all that broadcast equipment around, right? So what would you say to a headset with its own broadcast relay antenna? Man, I'm gonna be unstoppable now. But what about the other pimp? Check it out. So there you go, Andrea. You've seen both rides. It's decision time. Okay, this I like. <laughs> well, there's one more thing. You officially been pimp. Sweet work. Totally worth it, right? And now on to the next pimp, and wait a minute. Guys, why are we driving Andrea's car? Weren't we supposed to let her keep this? Um, what happened to Andrea? But uh, 
to at least check out the presentation before we decide. Graphically, this game is really bland. This is by no means a powerhouse on the PS2. Oh guys, this looks like it takes place in generic town USA. The audio is extremely repetitive. You saw it earlier. It doesn't get any better than that. Voice acting is kind of okay, but it really doesn't help the game at all. And then the music is... well, I don't know. I turned the music off before I even got into the game because I got really tired of hearing the Pit My Right theme. Oh, this game takes so much out of me. Oh god, that hurts. Okay. That's Pit My Ride. Let's uh, get the score up there and see if it's worth it. How's the gameplay? It's so repetitive, it's not even funny. It's sure, the charm of the Invincible Car is cool at first, but then it wears out its welcome very quickly, and it's just so monotonous, and just driving around in the, those mini games you can play are just... My god, it hurts. And the presentation bland at best, and I, like I said, I turned off the music because I got so sick of the Pimp My Ride theme, but I can't imagine it would get any better. I have very little good to say about this game. This game is bad to the bit. The reason it didn't get a Shrek Extra Large rating is because you can't have a lot of fun with it. Seriously, go get the game, get your buddies, play the game, and you'll have more fun making fun of it than you'll actually playing it. Oh, that hurt. That was no good, guys. The first ever Band of the Bin rating. Oh, ouch. Okay. Well, after that, I really need a palate cleanser. So excuse me while I go play some X-Men Destiny. There's a good game for you right there. Wait a minute. Wait, that's weird. My desk drawer is slightly open. Let me just... What? How? How is this possible? Ah!